Hello and welcome back to Capo TV. Today I want to talk to you about something that school's probably never going to teach you. It is called Control F. Alright, we're on Google right now. Let's say that your teacher just handed you a 10 page packet. Um, it's a popular thing these days to give web quests. You've got to find the information on the internet and then you've got to copy that information and put it down on the page and then the teacher has to tell you how well you found the information on this web quest. What I'm about to show you is not only good on web quests, it's good on anything that is computer based, anything that involves a large amount of reading, and anything that involves finding something super specific to put down on the paper. So, let's go to the longest article in the world. A Nation Apart. Wow, look at this. This article is all of this. I've never heard of this thing before in my life. But let's say that your teacher wants you to read this longest article in the world. And they want you to find something about... Alright, well I see George Bush is in the very top line here. So I bet there's more about George Bush in this article. And your teacher wants you to find it. What you do, you go to your keyboard, but you hold down the control key, and then you hit the F key. And look what pops up in the right corner up here. Now this will work on Windows, this will work on Mac, this will work on a Chromebook. It's just slightly different commands. On Windows PCs it's Control F. On Macs I believe it is that little command key, I think they call it. And on a Chromebook I believe it's still Control F. But anyway, your teacher wants you to find about George Bush. You don't want to read all this, so what do you do? With this little Control F, the window pops up, you hit B-U-S-H, now look what it does, it highlights on the page every instance of George Bush. And even if you look up here, it tells you there are 58 times that Bush is mentioned on this article. Now if you hit enter, it'll jump down to the next entry. See that little orange thing moving? Push it again, it'll go to the next one, next one, next one, next one, next one. Now you're getting into something good. You don't have to read anything, you let the computer do the work. It'll jump to all the instances of Bush in this article. And you can even go back if you want to hit um, the up arrow, it'll go back up. So there you go. That's control F in its simplest form. But look, Bush pops up so much in this article. Well, your teacher didn't do a very good job. Like, what information about George Bush do you want? I don't know. Let's say they want to know something about war. Uh, let's see. There's Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's not what we want right up here. We've got Delaware. War is in there. We've also got Civil War. Okay, Civil War. As you can see, there's not much in here about actual wars. Uh, let's see, George Bush, Iraq. How about Iraq? Is there something in here about Iraq? Oh yeah, look, it appears only six times. Now we can learn something about Iraq. Um, how about Twin Towers? No, see, if it's not in the article, it will sell you zero out of zero. So you know this is not the article to look for something about the Twin Towers. What about World Trade Center? World Trade Center. Nope. That's not in here either. I can't spell good. So that's how you use Control F. As a final piece of advice, I want to see what happens when you type in Control F to Google. Let's see what pops up. About 90% of computer users don't use Control F to search for a word as they don't know such a keyboard shortcut exists, a Google survey found. Wow. Now this is definitely in line with the experience that I've had. I don't think I've ever had a single student tell me, oh yeah, I know what Control F is, I use it all the time. It's usually a big surprise to them that no one's ever told them about it before. And that's really sad. School doesn't teach you a lot of things, but it could at least tell you how to save 15 minutes on your worksheet insurance. Um, wait, that's Geico. Anyway, if you liked this video and it was helpful to you, let me know that down in the comments. Have you ever used Control F? Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.